Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test your 12 volt car battery with a multimeter. Um, before we get into that though, I did wanna take a second to talk about safety. Anytime that you're working around a battery, make sure to wear safety glasses or goggles like I have on right now, and also a pair of gloves, uh, just to protect your skin and hands from the chemicals and battery acid and corrosion that you might come into contact with while you're around your car battery. Okay, uh, with that being said, let's go take a look at the multimeter first and go over what we're going to need to do with it. All right, guys, this is my multimeter. This is a Fluke 117. Um, I paid about $150 for it, but you can get multimeters as inexpensive as around $20 or so. Um, you know, I spent a little bit more on mine just because I do use it quite a bit. And so I wanted to uh, get something that was going to hold up and kind of had some of the specific uh, bells and whistle features I was looking for. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to hook up some test leads, um, which are these here. Um, you have a black and a red. Um, on the bottom of the multimeter, you have a... Um, a black one here that says calm above it. Um, that's short for common. This is where our black one's going to plug in. And then the red one we're going to plug in over here. There's a little V for voltage and we're measuring DC voltage. So that's where we're going to plug the red one in. But before we do plug those in, what we need to do is take a look at each um, one of our test leads and cords and go over it and make sure that there's no breaks and cracks in it. Um, or exposed wires. This is all the insulation that is protecting you from getting shocked when you're using these. So always give it a once over and make sure that nothing is exposed that's going to get you shocked. Okay, this black one looks good, so we'll go ahead and plug it in here. Now let's take a look at the red one. The red one looks good too, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the red one in here as well. Okay guys, the next thing we're going to do is turn it to the volts DC measurement setting, which is this one right here. Um, mine auto detects the range of whatever I am measuring and then displays uh, the value accordingly. Some of the multimeters don't have this feature though. They're going to give you a few different options for volts DC measurement. They're going to give you a 2 volts uh, DC measurement, a 20 volts DC measurement, and a 200 volt uh, DC measurement. Um, in the case of the 12 volt car battery, we want to set it to the 20 volts DC measurement. The reason we do that is you want to get the value as close as to what you're trying to measure um, without it being underneath what you're trying to measure. So if we were trying to measure something that, that output 30 volts, we would not use the 20 volt measurement. We would use the 200 volt measurement because it would be the next one in that example I just gave you. Um, but in this case, you would want to use the 20 volts DC measurement to measure a 12 volt battery. The next thing that you need to know is that multimeters do have a maximum DC measurement value um, that they can, they can test. Um, mine tests all the way up to 600 volts, so make sure you take a look at yours and see what its maximum value is before you use it. You never want to test anything above that value because if you do, you're going to hurt your multimeter and you're also going to hurt yourself by getting shocked. So make sure that you read through your multimeter manual and understand it completely before you use it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and head over to the car and test the battery now. All right, guys, I have my multimeter set off to the side here. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook it up in a second. But before we do, we need to know which side is positive and which side is negative on our car battery. Never trust the color of the cable or assume one side is positive or one side is negative. Always look at the battery itself, and it's going to tell you right on the battery. Negative sign here. This means this is our negative terminal. And there's a positive sign right over here on the battery that tells us this is the positive uh, terminal. So we're going to go ahead and take the cover off on the positive here. And you can see this battery is pretty dirty. We have some corrosion down here. I do need to get this cleaned, but we'll do that in another vid video. We'll go over how to do that. Uh, today we're just talking about the multimeter um, and testing the battery to see what values it gives us back. Um, a fully charged battery should come in somewhere between like 12.6 and 12.7 volts DC um, while the car is not running. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hook up our test leads next. We're going to hook up our black one to the negative side here. 
like so, and then we're gonna hook up our red one to the positive terminal, like so. And we can see that our reading comes in at 12.67, uh, right where we would expect a fully charged battery to be. If your multimeter was reading at anything below 12.6, you would want to charge the battery fully and then test it again. If it still doesn't read between 12.6 and 12.7, um, it's an indication that your battery is bad or going bad. All right, guys, next thing we're going to test is the cold cranking amps on the battery. The way we do this, we just leave the multimeter hooked up. Um, we're going to go ahead and start our car. Make sure all your accessories are off, like the lights and the blower and all that stuff. We're going to expect the voltage to drop a little bit. It should not drop below 10. If it does drop below 10 volts DC, it means that the battery is weaker than we want it to be and is indicating that the battery is either bad or going bad. Um, and then once the car is started, we should see the voltage jump up somewhere between like 13.5 and 14.5 volts DC. Um, that's the range that it's getting while it's running because the alternator is charging it. So we should see it jump up uh, into that range after the car started. Um, and that keeps your battery charged as you're driving. So let's make them make sure your multimeter is in a safe spot where it's not going to, you know, when your car is shaking at startup, it's not going to fly off. And let's go ahead and turn ours over right now. All right, guys, you can see that it did not drop below 10 volts at startup. So that's a good sign that our battery has the cold cranking amps that we need at startup. Uh, and then we can see that it jumped up to the range that I was talking about. Right now, currently at like 14.21 or 22 volts DC while the car's running. Um, so that's the alternator feeding power into the battery to keep it charged. All right, next we want to turn the car off and remove the test leads from the battery. All right, so once you have your car turned off, we can go ahead and remove the uh, test leads here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one and then go ahead and remove this one. All right, let's set this off to the side and I will be right back. All right, guys, once you have your test leads taken off, don't forget to put any um, terminal covers you had back in place. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't feel comfortable doing this stuff, give an auto parts store in your town a call. Um, oftentimes, they can test your battery right there in the store, and oftentimes, they won't even charge you to do it. So um, give them a call ahead of time and see if they can help you, help you if you don't feel comfortable doing this. Um, in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you guys how to test the alternator to see if it's bad. So if you're trying to figure out whether your battery or your alternator is bad, uh, take a look at one of my next videos and I'll show you how to do that as well. Well, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.